we love you from the UK, we love you from France. I was like, girl, what? So welcome back to my channel. It's Cashin, of course. I don't even want to call it Cashin TV no more because it's just Cashin. Like, that's just me. That's what we're doing, you feel me? I'm very excited to talk about what I have to talk about here today because it's about Girls from Venus and the rapid growth we just experienced, okay? It's kind of scary, but it's kind of good. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly kind of how everything happened, like, starting from, like, at home with GFE. That's where I got to start. That's kind of where I've seen it pick up, and it kind of hasn't stopped since then. Which is crazy because that was like a while ago, right? So let's start with at home with GFV. Around like when the quarantine first started, I was trying to find a way to get my customers more engaged. I'm going to lock up my phone, so please um, don't mind me. Um, I was trying to find a way for my customers to stay engaged but still be conscious of what's going on around them. And for me to also build anticipation and to, um, you know, keep in touch with my customers until I released a new shirt, right? So at home with GFV started about May 4th. And the first person to do it was Sophia. Hi, Sophia, if you're watching this. So, um, basically, I had all my um, customers write in and show me pictures of them wearing Girls from Venus and sending me a small little blurb about what they're doing during quarantine to stay motivated, to stay at peace, to just stay sane. And so, we had that coming in. And, of course, me being me, I'll have hella GFE because it's my brand. So, I basically um, took some pictures outside my backyard of me and GFV. So, I posted this picture. It should be the Ron Star in the white. Um, and me, I have some back of shorts, a cute leg jacket. You feel me? And that picture did numbers on Twitter and on Instagram. It made the site and the Instagram go up a little bit. And um, people was like, where is this shirt? And it wasn't on the site because I didn't know how many I had. I wasn't really selling them. They weren't selling. So I ended up putting them back on the site. And I sold the last one like... I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, it was the last large, right? And I'm excited about that because I was like, ah, I really wanted to restock it, but it wasn't in the stars for me to restock it, so I couldn't. And that sold out within like two weeks of me just reposting it back, basically. So um, that was really crazy for me because it was like, this is an item that I forgot I had low key, an item that I've had for a year. I didn't expect it to just pick up and sell like that. I didn't expect orders to be flying in. People were like, when you get in this size, do you have this color? How does this fit? Like, I just wasn't expecting that. I was like, bitch. And it was really crazy because that was during the quarantine. And so, you know, that showed me like, okay, people are still going to buy stuff during the quarantine. So, like, it's okay for you to release your shirt, right? So then I did the pre-order for the Goddess Venus T. My girl right here. My good sis. And basically, that went really well as well. So I was like, okay, this is really crazy. Like, it's picking up. People are really putting in orders. It's really nuts. I was really excited. And I was just like, ah, I can't wait for them to get here. I can't wait for them to get here. So they got here, shipped them out, boom. That was a great experience as well. So sales slowed down, you know. And it was like a normal girls from being this weekday, you know. A couple of orders here and there. You know, nothing crazy, nothing bum rushing, nothing I couldn't handle. Right? Right. So then, um, you guys know that we've had the Black Lives Matter movement going on and a lot of brands are speaking out whether they are against or for the Black Lives Matter movement and saying, um, all types of comments and concerns about what is going on with the black community. So, um, a brand that we all, all the fashion girls love and used to shop by and die by is Dolls Kill. And Dolls Kill released a statement basically saying, uh, I'll put it up on the screen as well, basically like supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. Of course it was retracted and she came back trying to explain herself, looking crazy, and nobody cared. Peace. So basically, someone made a thread, and I'm going to post a picture of the thread right here, saying like, these are black owned alternative businesses to support instead of Dolls Kill. Girls from Venus got uh, put inside the thread and I was like monitoring it and I was like looking at it like somebody sent it to me and then I also seen it I don't even know how I came across it honestly and then um I ended up sending it to the guy I'm dating and we were looking at it and like we was watching the numbers just go up like damn that was 5,000 likes damn that was 600 retweets like whoa so like we kind of went viral on Twitter out of nowhere out of nowhere so then we see the Twitter going up so now it's like almost 200 followers on the on the girls from reading this Twitter and we don't really I don't really use it so I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god this is crazy so people are sending it to you like cash oh my god look 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 I'm like y'all like I'm, I see it this is crazy this is nuts oh my god oh my god then I seen that people were finding the brand on IG so I'm like oh my god oh my god and it's going up like the IG is like boom so right now, Girls from Venus had 1,810 followers. 
when this started we had 900 followers like and just was and maybe like just move over 900 maybe 905 to be truthfully honest or 908 it was something like that but it wasn't no more than 910 followers so i was like yo like this is crazy i was just watching it climb 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 we were getting tagged in posts from france and posts from germany and posts from the uk they were like people were messaging the page like we love you from the uk we love you from france i was like girl what like i'm really just watching my brand go up i'm like oh my goodness like this is really crazy like and then the orders started pouring in like y'all at one point i had like 20 orders in like one day and that's crazy for me because i don't make like i girls from venus is a good brand and it does what it needs to do but like 20 orders is like what i usually get in a week so 20 orders in a day in one day was nuts to me i was like yo what is going on i'm selling out of stuff that i didn't even remember i had like i'm selling out of t-shirts i forgot i had i'm selling out of the jerseys like i'm just like wow people are buying the sweatsuits they're flying off the shelves we don't have any more mediums like this is crazy so i'm like oh my goodness y'all like <sighs> So sales had just been coming in ever since. I just did not think it was going to be like that. And I'm forever grateful for that. So the person who made the thread, they also um, made a fund to support protesters and support, um, you know, people who are protesting and things like that to buy supplies and water. And I donated some money because I was like, girl, Serena is going up because of you. Here's some money, like profits, profits. And I also decided to, because I've had so much success, because I'm a black owned business in this time and people investing in me. And love the brand. I'm going to invest some money into Breonna Taylor's GoFundMe for her family because she still has not gotten the justice that she deserves. And until then, we going up for Breonna Taylor. We going up for every single black man, woman, child who has been done wrong by the justice system. And that's one period. So basically, because of this, this instant random success, I feel the need to put out clothes at a rapid pace and do things that I don't really care for doing for the business. And it makes me not like Girls From Venus. So that's not what I'm going to do, honey. So I had to make some adjustments as I'm doing now. And I'm also trying to figure out what exactly I want to put out for spring summer. Because before this, I was going to skip spring summer and just have my shirt and then go full fledged in the fall because honey, fall is cooking. The designs I have for fall are crazy. Y'all are going to love fall, okay? love her to death okay love her to pieces okay so i was like i want to put all my energy all my money all my funds all my brain power into fall but then like designs for spring summer just started coming to me so i decided to not pressure myself into making a collection because we have all this good attention because we have all this like more funds an abundance of funds for girls from venus now so um i decided to only do what i feel like only do what came easy and not force myself to make designs because that never ends well and I don't want to force myself to put out bad clothing so we do have things coming for spring summer round of applause but yeah so we do have things coming for spring summer and I'm very excited about them they're very nice very well designed by the girl even though this is very overwhelming and I had all those thoughts this also put a lot in perspective for me so I was on the phone and the guy I'm dating asked me, what did this teach you? What did you make in a thousand dollars in five days? Um, show you about yourself, about Girls From Venus, etc. Right? So I'm going to read y'all what I wrote on Instagram. Because I don't remember it exactly. But when he asked me that, I made a post the next day. Because I was just so passionate about it. I'm sending a Girls From Venus page now. And we just got 10 more followers. I, I don't even know what's going on. Like, it's still crazy to me. It's so crazy that we have so much attention. Like, because that's my girl. Y'all know. Y'all know I love her. Love like I birthed her because guess what? I did. The post says, yesterday I was asked what did hitting another goal confirm for you? Um, my answer was I make good designs because I do. And it's very easy to doubt yourself when things aren't selling the way you want them to or you can't make a good design. Or you feel like you're just frustrated. But this showed me that I do make good designs. So two was I don't have to make clothes for men to make money. That's one thing I always been pondering on because I am girls from planet Venus. I am not unisex from planet Venus. I am not men from planet Mars. I am girls from planet Venus. So I will never ever make clothes catered to men. I don't ever want to do that. But I also don't have to like do that to make money. And that's what and so because of that, I thought that I was not going to be as successful or not make as much money as people who have unisex clothing. But here we are. I can do it just making clothes for women 
and the guys buy it anyways but still I can do it like you know that showed me that I can still be successful and not cater to men because it's hard to be successful without the what's that what's the word I want to say without men feeling like they're responsible for it you get what I'm saying um I have to stop thinking locally when I'm national and international I have this big thing in my mind that girls and beans is not popular where I live and it's not because people don't really wear it here and because um it's so many other popular local brands that I feel like my brand kind of gets overshadowed but in reality I have a map in my room because um, one of my Girls From Venus goals for the year is to have a product in every single state. And not only do I have products in 20 states as of like last week, but I have products in other countries as well. So I'm not just local. I'm global. I'm global, sweetie. And I have to remind myself like what's going on around you and your environment is not all that life is. Like life is bigger than Maryland because it literally is. Um, and last but not least, more people are paying attention than I think. Because I had no idea that my brand even could hold that kind of weight to the point where I verified people were posting my brand. I'm going to continue to go hard with Girls and Venus. I'm going to continue to make clothes for women by a woman, honey. I'm going to continue to really rock out because this was like a confirmation. Like, you really can do this. Okay? You got the support. You got the bread. You got the vision. So make it happen. And so that's kind of me just telling y'all, like, these are all things that y'all can do, too. Because that happened for me, that could happen for you. Twitter and social media is so powerful. It changes lives every day, you know? So I'm just excited. I'm so excited. I'm so jittery. This happened, like, a week or two ago, and I'm still, like... I made a thousand dollars in five days. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching Cashin TV. I'm Cashin, of course, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and turn on the notifications so when I'm here, you're here, and we're here together. You feel me? Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.